I guess I just start with, uh, you went to the Syracuse University College of Law. Mm -hmm. uh, why so? Why, what was it about that institution? Syracuse was um, a school, my, I had family who lived in Syracuse, so my whole life we would go up to football games you know, a couple of times during the year, got a glimpse from the outside, and when I decided to go to law school, um, I didn't want to go super far away, but I wanted an institution that had a very good reputation, and that would allow me to get a job wherever I wanted, because I didn't really think I was going to come back home. So I, I thought Syracuse was a great place to start. It had name recognition and if I chose to go to Arizona because I had these thoughts of going to Arizona then it would be a great um, a school that would get me recognition across the nation. Uh, what brought you back home? Family. Family and and um, yeah my choice was to come home and, and I think you, you develop that as you grow up and I realized that I wanted to come home this was home and I wanted to raise a family and I come from a very large family and the thought of being far away and raising children in a life without the support system was not what I wanted to do so I came home because it was home and joined the district, uh, district attorney's office uh, again in what year I believe it was 96 so your, your first job there was as the stop violence against women? Right. I worked at Borland and Borland prior to that. I did pri um, when I worked with Borland and Borland right here in Wilkes-Barre on the square, um, Ruth and Kim Borland were the partners in the firm. We did all kind of civil work, um, no criminal there. It was purely a civil law firm. Um, we did a lot of civil rights cases, but they're the ones who kind of introduced me to what became a big goal in my life and a big project, which was the domestic violence, Kim Borland took me into the shelter because they were solicitors or counsel for the shelter and um, I was shocked because it wasn't far from my home and I didn't even know it was there and so it was an eye-opening experience and from that point on um, I started to be very active with the, the Domestic Violence Service Center as a young, actually still in law school and young lawyer. Then I went to the DA's office and I went to the DA's office because they were offering, um, well, they received the STOP grant. One of the first in the state, the Stop Violence Against Women and Children Act, was received by Luzerne County. They had an up and running task force that um, was one of the first in the state also. It was really a great project, law enforcement, um, you know, medical, legal, social workers, um, SPCA. I remember they were, was, I never, under, that was when I started to understand people who abused their pets, abused their children, and the SPCA traveled with us, and we, um, they got the stop grant, so I applied because it was something, I had watched it coming, and I was really hoping they were gonna get it, and then I applied, and I went into work doing criminal work for the first time.